My son is going to be an absolute angel. I have personally equipped him with all the tools to make it through college. But who does he call if he hates his roommate? Wow, I mean, I, I didn't know y'all were co-ed. I, I mean, that's fine. I'm progressive. It's just a lot of penis walking around. Hmm. Who does her laundry? Now, I, I know y'all got a laundry facility, but who does her laundry? I mean, y'all don't have a maid service or housekeeping that she can opt into? Because I don't need her worrying about her laundry while she's trying to get this degree. You know, I was an RA when I was in school too, you know, class of 84. Yay. So I understand what you're going through. My suggestion, just get them a keg and they, see, they usually settle out themselves. You know, that's how we used to do it. Hi, can my daughter change roommates? It, it's, it's okay, we can ask. Can, can she change roommates? I mean, there's not a problem right now. It's just that our roommate's a bit ethnic. It, it's okay, we can call them ethnic. I mean, she's dealt with blacks before, but I don't know what the roommate is. And just so she has a good year, can we change roommates? Is, is, that, is that easy? Can we do that? <laughs> Do you have any private rooms available? Cause I just looked into the apartment my son's supposed to be moving in and I don't like the boys he's gonna be living with. So you got a private room? I understand that it's a little more pricey, but I need a private room. He is not living with them. Did you get our deposit? I know you got our deposit. I remember, I remember. Please tell me you have our deposit. So what's the curfew? Uh, what? What do you mean you don't check? Like what? I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. Hold on. You don't check if they come home or not? Where the Greek house is at? I'm trying to pledge, yo. No, you, I, I, I don't understand. Who checks if my child came home or not? So you're telling me there's not like a front desk person that tells you like you gotta check your name out whenever you leave and come back? What? Like who's checking on these kids? Between you and me, where the girls at? I see a lot of dudes around here. Where the girls at? I'm trying to make sure my son, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah. My daughter needs to meet the RA because I understand how imperative and fantastic RAs are needed in the community. So my daughter needs to meet the RA so she knows who to call if she's having a bad time. I really don't understand why you cannot move my son into a private room. I'm already paying so much money to go to this school, my son, and you can't even find him a private room. I don't care that other people are waiting. I, I am a customer and I am demanding a private room. I know we made our deposit. I know we made our deposit. Mom, we made the deposit, right? Right? Hold on for a second, I'm sorry. We made our deposit. You know what? I don't like your attitude. Um, I'm an alum, yeah, class of 79, and I remember when housing used to be less stressful, so I know you're having a bad day, but my son just wanted to know if his Rottweiler and his Rottweiler's cousin can live in the room with him. You telling me that that's dangerous for the roommate? I don't like the way your tone is, all right? We asked a simple question. I don't see why my freaking dog can't live here with my kid. You know what? I'm calling the president. Yeah, I met her at the meet and greet five years ago. I'll just call her office and see what she thinks about you. What's your name again? Huh? So where do parents stay for tonight? You know, I'm trying to stay before, you know, he goes to class, you know, I just want to be there for him, you know? Uh, I, I know class starts for another week, but I, you know, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, emptiness syndrome, you know? <laughs> I know we're not supposed to move in yet, but I really, really need to move in right now because it'll just be easier on my parents and me and I'm trying to find a job. Can I please move in early? Please, please, I understand if you make an exception, please. Um, my sink's flooded. I think it's an emergency. Please help. I know it's a month before school starts, but I really need to move in right now. Like I, I totally, I'll work here. Like I will, please, this is important. You know what? Thank you for helping my kid move in. Um, this has been really stressful on all of us and I'm really excited to see what y'all are gonna be doing. I heard about welcome week. That sounds super fun. It's just, they're a little nervous. We're a little nervous. So this, y'all really, y'all really made it really great for us. Thank you. Hi y'all, it's Diamond. This is my dance, I guess, this week. Also, did y'all see that door slowly open? Did it slowly open? I felt like I closed it before I started recording and then I suddenly realized it was open. Okay, whatever, that's not the point. How are y'all doing? I'm having a pretty okay day. Like last week was a total shit show for me, but I spent the weekend hanging out with Todd. Um, it was much needed, you know, a lot of decompressing. So I'm having a great time and this is your Tuesday video. 
told you I'd get back. Um, I hope everything's going great with y'all, you know? I hope for those who work in higher education, this whole thing was to make y'all laugh because especially for housing folk, y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Parents demanding shit, calling the president, thinking shit's illegal. Like, it's just dumpster fire. Um, but I hope you're having a good start of the year regardless of what your occupation is. And I hope this made you smile. So as I've been hyping up lately, I have a podcast coming out next month called Diamond in Her Hat. It will be premiering the first week of October. So the only situation is it is Patreon exclusive, which means you need to become a patron. And for $2 a month, you can actually listen to that podcast. You know, $2 a month. You won't even see it come out of your account. Do it. So if you want to hear my podcast, it's going to be completely NSFW. It's supposed to be educational, funny, and cringy. If you're into that, please, you know, become a patron and please listen to it. You'll also get perks depending on the tiers that you jump into. Um, help us out. You know, this, this is my thing. I love making y'all laugh. I love when people text me and call me and like, what the hell did you just do or the comments. So I really dig it. I really appreciate it. And for those who are sticking with me, even when I had a really bad week, thanks. <laughs> so if you want to become a patron, link, and also in the description below, go ahead and sign up because you know, the very first podcast is going to be right on Patreon. Like I'll let y'all know, but you'll only be able to hear it on Patreon. So yeah. Anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll have a new video for you on Thursday. For sure I will, unless something happens that's out of my control. <laughs>